A resident in Durban is at loggerheads with the Etiquini municipality over the storing of hundreds of live sheep in an upmarket suburban backyard. The animals will be slaughtered during id festivities on Friday. Faisal Mohammed sells sheep from his Greyville home. He says he operates his business at Eid. But his business has encountered a problem. His neighbors complain of the noise and smell. They have reported the matter to the Etegwini municipality. But Mohammed is adamant he has done no wrong. People are just making allegations because of spitefulness and what you call jealousy and they just not being tolerant. And we as Muslims, we tolerate everybody else's faith and everybody's uh, festivities and things like that. But uh, people just don't want to, what you call that, uh, see it that way. But Etuni municipality says the storage of livestock in its backyard is a violation of bylaws and thus the animals pose a health risk to residents. There are health bylaws um, and the nuisance bylaws that, that comes into play about keeping animals um, and it's mostly about because of the health risks and um, what you do with the, with the mess that the animals make and all those type of things and also because in both these cases these animals were sold so also there's bylaws uh, conducting where and how you can conduct business within the city you need a business license and all those type of things so this, these bylaws would also have been violated as these uh, properties aren't zoned for business and they didn't have business licenses. It's a matter of religion and culture versus the law. We would like to place on record that in Islam we are required to be very considered with regards to our neighbors. I would say that one, two, three, five, you know, ten up to that is not something that is not livable with. There are people who have farms and they stock livestock on those particular farms and it would be more appropriate that we make arrangements with them. Mohammed's neighbors refuse to appear on camera. The Department of Health is to visit the home tomorrow. Mr. Kumalom, SAPC News, Durban.